Adele's latest, don't you remember, right here on Star 103.7, Star 8.33. There's just so many people in here right now getting nervous talking in front of crowds. And we've got all sorts of Girl Scouts in here. we got their moms. All sorts of people are here this morning because we've got a community star. Letha Harris is this week's community star. And she wants the Girl Scouts to also be the community star with her. So we've got them all jam-packed in here in the studio this morning. How are you girls doing? Good. There you go. They're, they're being a little shy. I told them they need to talk a little bit louder when they're close to the mic. But <laughs> how are you doing, Letha? Good. Good. And you are this week's community star, along with all the Girl Scouts. We'll just throw all in there together because you, Girl Scouts always do so much in the community. Just tell us a little bit about what you do for the Girl Scouts and uh, yeah, we'll get started with that. Well, the reason why um, I thought Girl Scouts was a community star because this past year, I became the service unit manager for Girl Scouts, uh -huh. which means I had our wonderful service unit team and actually putting on events in the community for the Girl Scouts and to help the community. So through the past year, we've held numerous events that the girls were able to take part of and help the community also, but also in their own troops, they are also dedicated to doing their own community service projects. And we have um, close to 25 troops in the city, which have over 350 Girl Scouts as part of those troops. All right. And girls, can you guys tell us about some of the community service projects you do around the community? Well, I remember being able to do food drives and book drives, and it's really fun to be able to do all that kind of stuff to help with the community. Uh-huh. Anybody else? We decorate houses to like, help the community and all that kind of stuff. Decorate houses, that sounds fun. Any other community service projects we got you want to jump on? We also did Reforest Frankfurt. Where Reforest we did Frankfurt, uh -huh. And we also did Go Frankfurt where we, all, um, we went down to the King Center and cleaned up and Lifehouse and cleaned up. Very cool. And I believe that's what she means by cleaning the houses was through the Go Frankfurt event uh -huh. where they went and painted stuff around the town that were needed. And I do have some lists. I mean, there's a lot of Girl Scouts that have gone to Morning Point and done numerous events caroling for the um, people there and or helping them stuff Easter eggs this past Easter for the Stewart Home Easter Egg Hunt. Oh. They do a lot of events through Lifehouse and Humane Society, the Women's Shelter, and cookies for the military. And we had a troop that gave cookies to the local sheriff department. So along with not, you see us a lot of times selling cookies in front of Kroger's or Walmart, but we're doing a lot more than that as Girl Scouts. Right, and uh, you've also worked with March of Dimes, it says in the mm -hmm. nomination, as well as, you, you just talked about the care packages for the troops, just doing stuff all over the place. You also talk about uh, the Twilight Camp. What exactly is the Twilight Camp? Well, we'll be having our, um, I'll be a part of the second, that I've been a part of the second Twilight Camp this summer, July 24th through 26th, uh -huh. and we'll be at the Co-op Extension Office, and that's for all Girl Scouts in the town and or girls who may want to be Girl Scouts, and that's from K through 5th grade, they can come and be a part of that, and we're going to have the health department come, we're going to have Fit Time for Women come, and it's all going to be a Get Fit, You're It program that the United Way is sponsoring through a grant for the girls. So we also, United Way is a big sponsor of Girl Scouts, so we do a lot of things through that also with them. Uh -huh, as well as father-daughter dances where you collect uh, food for the food pantries. Yes. That's pretty cool as yes. well. Yes, we did. They, I, I brought it down, down here actually because you all are collecting, so it was easier to bring it through you all back at Christmas time. But I, I can't remember exactly how many, but it was close to 200 items at the girl. So not only did we host a father-daughter dance that the girls got to come and have a great time with their father, but they also brought in um, food to also give to the families during the Christmas time so that they weren't having a good time for themselves, but also remembering their community also. Did you girls have a good time at the father-daughter dance? Yeah. <laughs> Good to hear. They're they're still asleep, I think. <laughs> yes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, uh, in honor of the community stars, if at the end of the quarter we will select one group to get a charitable do donation to the charity of their uh, their choice. So it could be the Girl Scouts. We we'll, we could give you a call here soon. Thank you for stuff. What do you have? One more thing. Yes. Right. On June fourteenth, the Girl Scouts Council is up for the hundred. 
100 cars in 100 days through Toyota program. Uh -huh. So on June 14th, you can go to their website and vote for the Wilderness Road Girl Scout Council to win a car All right. for them to help girls get back and forth to camps through the summer. So just remember June 14th, go and vote for Girl Scouts. June 14th, you vote for the Girl Scouts so they can get a nice little car to help them out with all their travels and uh, to help keep on helping the community so we can have some more community stars later on. I see these girls, they're going to do big things someday. All thanks to Letha Harris and all the other wonderful women over here that are helping them become nice young ladies. Thanks for stopping in with us today. We're going to keep the music rocking right along. How about some Sugar Ray? It's every morning.